As we've all seen in 2019, Max Verstappen has had a fantastic year. A year where he has been regularly competing with drivers such as Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel in a car that most of the time has not been good enough to do so. And as the season has gone on, Max has got even better and been for me so far the best driver of 2019. But given Max Verstappen's career so far and the great last say, year or so that he has had, if Max continues with how good he is, could he eventually become a part of the greatest of all time conversation? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to look at. I'm going to look at his career so far, what he has shown us in a positive way, and look at whether, if he does continue how he is going, whether he can put himself in the conversation for being the greatest driver of all time. So if you want to find out if Max can put himself in that conversation, then make sure to check out this video. Now, the first thing we must look at is what he has done in his first four years in Formula 1. And you have to consider just how great he has been despite being still so, so young. I mean, sometimes people forget, but when Max Verstappen came into Formula 1, he was only 17 years old. The youngest driver in Formula 1 history. But still, as soon as he came into Formula 1, he showed the potential to be a future world champion and a future great of Formula 1. And that only continued when in 2016 he got his promotion to the Red Bull team, winning on his debut for Red Bull. Now as with any young driver, they tend to make silly errors and can be at times very inconsistent. And of course, at the end of the day, Max Verstappen is human and he went through this as well. But for me, the reason he has now become the driver he is right now is because when he was making those errors and he knew he had to try and sort out his driving style in terms of overtaking, defending and just how he drove the car mentally, he learned to improve very, very quickly. And that's a very hard thing for young drivers to do. Because younger drivers most of the time don't tend to learn in terms of how to improve in certain areas until they are not young anymore. But Max Verstappen, by the time he became 21 years old, had already gone through that process and had come out all the better for it. As in the last 14 months, Max Verstappen has continuously put in great performances and most of the time got even more out of his Red Bull car than was actually there. And even though he has maintained a great level for the last year or so, he is still improving during the last year. And now we come to today, where at 21 years old, Max Verstappen already has had a great career. And if you look at these stats, you can absolutely see that. So at 21 years old, he has seven race wins, one pole position and 27 podiums in 93 races. If a driver retired with those kind of stats, you would say that he had a good career. But Max Verstappen is only 21. So what could he do if he was, say, 34, 35? His stats could be absolutely through the roof. And that is what makes Max Verstappen such a scary prospect for the future. But in the most key areas for a driver, what makes him so special and what could put him in, say, the conversation, possibly in the future, for being one of the greatest of all time? Well, first, let's look at his qualifying pace. Now, again, as soon as he came into Formula 1 at 17, his pace was great for a 17-year-old. And was plenty of times out-qualifying Carlos Sainz, who we now know is a very, very good driver. Now, when he did come to Red Bull, Daniel Ricciardo was beating Max in qualifying quite a lot once Max joined in 2016. And it was definitely a challenge for Max to face and a challenge for Max to actually get on terms of Daniel in qualifying and try to beat him. But because of how quick of a learner Max Verstappen is, he did that pretty quickly as by 2017, Max Verstappen was the king of qualifying at Red Bull. And of course, in 2018 also. Now, I know in 2019, he has had Pierre Gasly as a teammate. But if you look at the pace of himself in that car during qualifying in 2019, he has been pretty special. For example, qualifying inside the top three at Austria, a circuit where Red Bull 
should not be qualified inside the top three on the grid. Also, look at Hockenheim, where he put his car on the front row again at a racetrack where in the dry, the Red Bull should not be on the front row. Yes, I know Ferrari had their issues, but beating Valtteri Bottas in a car that should be a lot quicker for me just shows how great Max has been in 2019 in qualifying in that Red Bull car. And then, of course, finally at the Hungarian Grand Prix, he got his first ever pole position. And for me, that qualifying lap was so, so good. Because I think, as we saw in the race, the Red Bull car probably was not the quickest car that weekend. Because for most of the race, Lewis Hamilton did have a quicker car for probably, at most, 75% of the race. But despite that, in qualifying where Red Bull normally are at their weakest, he got pole position. And because of how great he has been lately when it comes to qualifying, I think he'll just continuously improve on this. But also we have to look at his great race performances when it comes to what he could do in the future and how he is so far. So again, remember, Max Verstappen is 21 years old and he has had these great performances in the races. Such as holding off Kimi Raikkonen on dead tyres to win his first ever Grand Prix and his first race at the Red Bull team. Winning on your debut for your new team is a very, very special thing to do. Especially if you are a very young driver like he was. He's also gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with world champions such as Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel and come out on top. Again, considering how young he is, that's an exceptional thing to do. He's also had great drives from the back of the grid to still be in a podium position. And he's become so great at this that even though he's starting from the back, you can't count him out for a podium even if he is starting from the very back of the grid. And even so far in his career, he has shown the ability to dominate races from the very front of the grid, given that he gets in front at the start. And now in 2019, he is even winning races that he really should not be winning based on the car's performance. And Austria this year is a big example of that. All of those great performances, all of those great performances have come either during... Now again, Max Verstappen, 21 years old, and he's had that many great performances in the races if he can do that by 21 imagine what he could do by 30 or even 25 and you just know that max is going to continuously improve in all the areas we've talked about so far now also we have you know his performances in the wet now i don't actually think max is as good in the wet as other people think i don't think yet he has demonstrated that he is as good as Ayrton senna or michael schumacher in the wet Yes, his performances at Brazil were good and at Hockenheim it was good, but it wasn't a, you know, Donington 1993 or Monaco 1997 level of performance. He's definitely good in the wet, no doubt about it, but he's not at an absolute supreme level in the wet. Now, I know you may say Hockenheim, but if you look at his pace in the wet, it wasn't dominant over the rest of the field. And he really, when he won that race, it was really because of his pace when it dried up for the final 20 laps or so. But the most important area that I've seen in 2019 that really does showcase how great a driver can be is outperforming the car you are driving. Now, you cannot doubt whatsoever that Max Verstappen in 2019 has outperformed his car. Because if you look at the Red Bull during the first eight races before they got that big new upgrade at the home Grand Prix at the Red Bull ring, the car wasn't really in a position to consistently go for podium finishes. Maybe here or there at most, but most of the time it was not as quick as the Ferrari or the Mercedes. But still, he would be in a position to be not that far off a Ferrari and a Mercedes and sometimes he would beat one of them. But then once the upgrade came at the Red Bull ring, of course, the Red Bull car improved, meaning Max Verstappen's results improved. But still, I don't think the Red Bull car has been as good as the results that Max has been getting. Even though the car did improve at Austria, I don't think it was the absolute quickest car in Austria. 
I think honestly the reason Max won was because Max was the best driver. And I think in Hungary, considering how quick Lewis Hamilton was in his car that I think was a bit faster during race day, I think Max did well to be in the lead for how long that he actually was. And outperforming your car, especially if you're at the top of the grid, is a very, very important thing to have. Because it really does showcase how good a driver is. For example, Michael Schumacher did it in 1996, 97 and 98 where his cars were not at a level to compete for race victories for the amount of times that he was putting his car in that position. And it definitely was not in a position to actually go for the World Championship, but Michael put that car in that position anyway because he was so good at outperforming the car. Also, so was Ayrton Senna. Now, the biggest example of Senna outperforming his car is, of course, 1993 at McLaren. And if you actually look at Max's 2019 and Ayrton's 1993, they are very similar. Both in cars that cannot consistently go for race wins and they both had bad teammates. And both of their teammates were replaced mid-season. Now if you go back and look at Ayrton's 1993, it was one of the best seasons, if not the best, Ayrton ever had. As he somehow took five race victories in a season where Williams really had the best car at every race. But still, because of how great he was, Five race wins and at one point Ayrton by I think Monaco was actually leading the world championship and also Lewis Hamilton who I do consider to be in the GOAT conversation he has had definitely plenty of races and a couple seasons where he has outperformed his car when it comes to outperforming his car I think back to say 2010 for example with McLaren where that season Lewis really should not have been in the World Championship fight considering how quick the McLaren was, but because of how great he was for the majority of the season, he put that car in that position. And as I've said before, Max is doing that in 2019, and that is the hallmark of a great driver. But when it comes to his future, what is Max Verstappen going to develop into? Well, if he keeps improving when it comes to qualifying pace, overtaking, race pace, wet weather pace, and also if he can get the best out of his car, if not even more, then Max should absolutely go on to win a few world championships. And I think considering how talented the guy is, he really should be eventually, say, 10 years time, be in the conversation for greatest of all time. I'm not saying he will be the greatest of all time, but he will be in the conversation. Of course, one big thing that's very important for Max Verstappen if he's going to win championships and put himself in that position is getting into a car that is good enough to win the world championship and getting into a team that is capable of going for the world championship basically every year, which is what Lewis Hamilton has had for 95% of the time at his time at Mercedes. Michael Schumacher had at Ferrari for plenty of years, and also Ayrton Senna had during his days at McLaren. If Max Verstappen can get himself into a championship winning car that can go for race wins at basically every weekend, then he can absolutely win a world championship, and he really should, considering how talented he is. Because with the right car and the right team, with his talent level, he will be near impossible to stop and considering what he has shown us so far in terms of how good he is if he does keep improving which I think he will and starts to win some world championships you can guarantee he will be in the conversation for greatest of all time but let me know in the comments guys do you think Max Verstappen has so far in his career shown the talent and the ability to win world championships but also possibly be in the conversation for the greatest of all time let me know in the comments and also comment down below what you thought of this video also don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and also just to let you guys know my next video is coming on friday and it's a video let's say a satirical video to do with daniel ricardo and reno i think you guys are going to like it so until that video guys it has been me Chazer HD, goodbye.